Hi, my name's Joey, I'm with Perfect Gardens, and today I wanted to make a video just giving you guys a regimen that we have used with great success of what you can do to prevent bugs and other pests from getting into your garden or at least attacking your garden and causing damage. One thing we have to be honest with ourselves is that this is really gonna happen to almost everybody. Everyone experiences this from the veterans of gardening to the novices of gardening. It happens to all of us. So when you get spider mites, aphids, or any type of pest like that, don't worry. It's completely normal. And all you can do is try to improve as a grower and improve your steps and your procedures so that this doesn't happen again. So here's what we typically like to use when we are preventing which is key, we're preventing these bug problems from coming around. You don't wanna wait for a bug problem and then go ahead and start using a product. You wanna be using things to allow uh, you to have a head start, so to speak, against these bugs and you have a, a preventative measure. Being proactive rather than reactive will save you a lot of the time. Another analogy I like to use with the customers is think about your house. Most of us, uh, I guess depending where you live, but most of us are always locking our front door to our house every single night. And we do that as a preventative measure to prevent our, to prevent our house from being intruded upon. So you don't wait until you get robbed and then think, okay, maybe I should start locking my door. It's the same thing when we're talking about bugs and things like that in our grow room. We should be using stuff before we even see bugs coming around. That way, we're always one step ahead. We use three different products in our regimen. And you don't have to use all three. Um, you can use just one of them and be successful. I'm not saying you have to use every single product. Um, I know people that use one of the products that are successful. I know people that use only two of the products that are successful. And then there's always somebody that's you know lucky or happens to have a great environment or just be in a great situation where they don't use any of the products and they're successful. So this is just a reference. This is just an example. Somewhere for you to start if you have no idea. The first product that we use is something called Bioneme. This is made by a company named Safer, and this is basically a neem product with the main ingredient being azadiractin. Azadiractin is a product that uh, is an ingredient, I should say, that's in a lot of pesticide products. For example, popular is Azamax, another one is Azatrol. So if you don't use Bioneem, obviously feel free to use the Azamax or the Azatrol if maybe you already have it, or you, you, know, you like that product better, whatever it may be. So as long as you're using some type of product that has the Azadiractin in there, you'll be fine. The reason we like Bioneem is because it's not very expensive. So it's, it's really inexpensive. This bottle, for example, is about 20 bucks, and it can make you around five gallons of of spray so the other products are a little bit more expensive and they are more concentrated as well so it justifies the more expensive price tag however we've had a lot of really great luck with this bioneme product of course it's army certified organic so you don't have to worry anything worry about anything in that regard now when you're using bioneme you want to use it from the very first day uh, maybe you go to a nursery and you get some plants that have already sprouted they're already started you know maybe some clones some cuttings you want to go ahead and apply the bioneme the very first day you get it and introduce it into your outdoor or indoor garden if you're starting seedlings even still you want to go ahead and start taking care of that as soon as you get your seedling to sprout usually we wait about you know until you have maybe four three to four sets of true leaves and then start applying those types of pesticides um, to those young plants so step number one is to do this right away as soon as possible using the bio neem every single week you want to spray this once a week. You're going to turn this into a routine, just like you have to feed your plants with nutrients. This is going to be a routine for you. So once a week, we're going to be using the Bioneme product. Now, what we also do, which is the extra measures we take, is use a product like a liquid ladybug. Now, you don't have to use liquid ladybug. Another product that we really like is SNS 217, made by Sierra Natural Science. That's a, a really great product for spider mites specifically, and the Bioneme will take care of almost everything. These types of products are more meant for spider mites specifically, um, which is really the most common bug problem I've seen both online and in store. So, most people get spider mite problems. It's not to say that you won't have other problems, but spider mites are usually the number one problem. So, one a week, spray with Bioneem. The next week, spray with a liquid ladybug or an SNS 217 and alternate both weeks. So Bioneem this, Bioneem this, Bioneem this. And you're going to do that all the way up until week two of your flowering stage. Once you get to week two of your flowering stage, you usually have a pretty good development. You know, your flowers are starting to develop pretty well, um, or your fruits or vegetables are starting to develop pretty well. Whatever you're producing, it's usually developed pretty decently once it's into that second week of flower. Um, so most people don't like to spray anything on that because, you know, if you're going to consume this or you're going to eat this, whatever you're going to do with this, you usually don't want to spray anything on there that kind of just uh, worries you as far as health when you're gonna eat this or consume this. So what we do is after week two, we stop using these two products 
And really, if you're doing a regimen and you did a good job and you do that every week, like I said, you probably won't get any bug problems from here on out. So that's where you can just use that and you can just leave it there, leave it there and move on. But for those people who want to be extra cautious, what I recommend you guys do is you get the SNS 209 product, which is made again by Sierra Natural Science. This is a systemic product that they make, and this product is actually not meant to be sprayed onto your plant. It's meant to be given to your root zone. It's meant to be fed to your root zone. And it's a systemic product that's going to be uptaken by the roots, and it's basically going to deter all these bugs and all these pests from your plants because they're going to get a dose of some rosemary in them, they're going to smell some rosemary, and they're either going to taste it and not like it, or they're going to smell it and not like it, and they just don't like that rosemary basically, and they'll, they'll move on. They won't want to mess with your plants. So that's a really good product to use because now you're still applying a pesticide to your plants, however, you're not having to spray your flowers or spray your produce or anything like that. So we go Bioneem and then we go SNS 217 or liquid ladybug, alternate that every single week all the way up until week two, and then we start using SNS 209 for basically the rest of the grow. Um, you don't have to use SNS 209 that often. Um, you just have to do it maybe once a week, feed it into there, and you can stop feeding it just when you're gonna start flushing and everything else anyway. You don't have to worry about it hanging around the plant. These oil type products typically will leave your plant or dry off of your plant very quickly, so they're not something that's gonna stick around and give you a bad taste or anything like that. So that's our regimen when we're talking about pests and we're dealing with them and we're trying to prevent them. Again, you don't have to follow that exactly, just use it as a reference point. If you want to follow that exact regimen, I can promise you the likelihood of you getting bugs or pests in your room is very, very limited. Ever since I've started doing this, I've had no problems with spider mites or any other type of bugs. It's really never going to happen. It really never has happened, I should say, because anything's possible. So it's never happened to me yet. Doesn't mean it won't, but it is a very good proven regimen that we have used here with great success. Now, while I'm talking about this, I also got to let you know that generally speaking, if you have a weaker plant, you're going to get bug problems faster or worse than somebody who has a very strong healthy plant. So overall, don't just depend on these products and I think they're going to save you from everything and every problem you could ever face. You still have to do your due diligence and you still have to grow a great plant by giving it a great environment, giving it proper nutrition, things like that. So if you're doing well with your plant and you're keeping it as healthy as possible and you're giving it all it needs, the likelihood of these bugs coming around is very small anyway to begin with. So some people grow just perfectly and they, they have a great environment and their plants are super healthy and they they don't use any of that stuff and they don't have those types of problems you know maybe they'll just use the neem because the neem is just a really great organic spray that that's never really hurts anything so just keep that in mind don't grow your plant like crap and then expect to use these products and prevent your problems you know you're, you're gonna have problems if you have bad plants bugs are attracted to plants that are weak and attracted to plants that are uh, potentially even dying. So keep that in mind. I hope this video helped you and gave you a little bit more direction on what you can use or what you should be using when it comes to these problems. Of course, there's plenty of options on the market. This is just our example and this is just us sharing some advice with you guys. Any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. We always love to hear from you and uh, have a great grow.